Irish friends around. Go Manny to your grave. Go there. My name is Stuart Kelly with Blade and Micro Turbine. We make highly autonomous, sustainable fuel-based uh, primary and resilient power for the telecom industry. We've been doing that for four years now. But let's talk a little bit about what um, the gentleman in the other main hall talked about was this trilemma we have is we want to be sustainable, yet our energy needs are going up. We want more power all at the same time, doing it equally to all the population of the country. And you can't have a high score in one and a high score in the other because they sometimes contradict each other. So this is our trilemma. How do we square that triangle? Um, we have over a million telecom towers on the planet today that are either off-grid or connected to very poor grid. So we need to generate power on site in order to uh, provide signal to the population around that area. Big problem. So how do we solve it? Historically, the market has bought diesel generators, dirty, high-maintenance diesel generators to do this. And last year, bought a quarter of a million diesel generators, spitting out 7 million tons of CO2. That can't be good for the future. Why do they do it? Well, unfortunately, 100% renewable historically means not 100% available. And nobody wants to tell you, listen, when it's not windy and when it's not sunny, sunny you can't use your phone. Nobody's going to accept that. But there is a solution. Hands up who flew this week. Hands up who was on an airplane this week. Hands up who had a hot drink today. You didn't have a hot drink today? Okay. So thanks to tur gas turbine technology, you were able to fly here and be able to get a hot drink because it involved heating water. You can't heat water without fire or electricity. So, We've taken an invention that was made a hundred years ago called a gas turbine and we've miniaturized it. And in fact, I've brought one with me in our booth over the wall here in less than a 30 kilogram power uh, plant. We can generate all the electricity you need using sustainable fuels, including hydrogen derived fuels to uh, mobile phone tower. And you see it on the bottom right there, and that's actually uh, a blown up version of our micro turbine power plant. We started deploying this three years ago, four years ago, with uh, Vodafone in South Africa for the very remote off grid sites. We continue to do that, and since then we've deployed on hundreds of sites in five continents. Um, we've also married, this is the, one of the first sites on the right hand side here, where we deployed with uh, Vodafone, a very remote site outside Johannesburg. Since then, we've deployed in other parts of Africa and married these um, microturbine generators with solar and also wind. Very simply put, compared to a regular diesel generator, this is a very simple uh, modular power system that has 60% less parts than a regular diesel generator. The engine itself is one moving part and it doesn't run in oil like an engine would. It runs in air. So we basically get rid of the footprint associated with uh, engine oil, and also we eliminate the need to service this. So this is a highly autonomous, resilient prime power plant. The cool thing about gas turbines is it doesn't care what fuel you put into the turbine to make it spin. So it's, all, it's agnostic to fuel. So you can actually use different types of sustainable fuels, including hydrogen-derived fuels. So today, today, we are deploying this using sustainable fuels made from waste, waste oil and waste food oil. That reduces the footprint associated with the power by 90% today. Today. To get to net zero, that, net, that extra 10%, we need uh, billions of dollars spent by governments and industry to provide us reliable, ubiquitous supply of hydrogen-based fuels, which we're not there yet, but I'd say in a couple of years, our technology is already ready to make that happen now. So, in case you've not heard about renewable diesel or renewable fuels, there are companies out there that, uh, thanks to a $500 billion investment by governments, 
are gen making fuel from waste oil, waste fuel oil, so not taking from the, the field to harvest uh, plants for food for us, or animals. This is actually a circular method for generating high energy fuels that can be used in turbines and gas turbines today. So, just a little summary, we have a platform here that gives you resilient autonomous power using sustainable fuels that is highly autonomous, doesn't require a lot of people to install or maintain over time, and is one thing that uh, we've seen with Vodafone and other mobile network operators that um, resists change, is been able to have security of supply, been able to use any fuel that's available in country today, providing that, that uh, stepwise move into zero carbon future. And that is it for me. Thank you very much.